Here we get two, two. Nice. What's up, everyone? I don't have to move around. Yeah, where it's a little more quiet. Hello, how are you doing today? Is this better? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you a little better now. Yeah, Let, like like last time. Looks like you got the blue light going on. It changes colors. <laughs> so, all right. Well, what's up, everyone? John here. Buenas noches. We got our favorite uh, world traveler becoming the Jedi Master, practicing in different galaxies. So <laughs> he's got some interesting uh, stories to tell us today. Uh, these girls passed out right here. They pass out 12 hours and had not have a single problem. And she's doing something under the blanket here, like sleeping under my shorts. <laughs> uh, so... All right, so uh, your finger's kind of blocking the camera. My fingers are okay. I got you. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. So okay. Tim is in Angeles City, the Philippines. It's like a mixture of like Thailand and Tijuana rolled into one. And it's got the best of both worlds. And so Tim has some exciting uh or some interesting stories to tell us from his adventure last night because he was telling me earlier and I said, oh, we should share this story with everyone so they can know that money doesn't cut it all the time. So let's let's hear, let's give us a rundown of what happened. Well, uh, I guess, should, should I start from the beginning about that flight and things like that or just get about my experiences here? What, no, what do you start think? From the uh, from the flight? No, we don't need to do the flight. We did that in the other video already. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know for sure what, how, how much of the other video is you saw, but like John said, I've been in Angela City for like four or five days. I didn't know really what to expect, but uh, there's a, a lot of girls here. There's a, if people not familiar with Angela City. There's a, they call it Walking Street. There's probably 20 bars there along the road and uh there is a lot of ladies here uh, i suppose the majority there's a lot more ladies than there are men right here and uh they have a bar fine system which well i've noticed that the field i've been spending a lot of time in mexico as you guys follow john channel know but it's a little different culture out here it's a little different experience uh i'm not taking anything away from the mexico experience it's a beautiful experience but the, the girls here it's set up a little differently the bars open up at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. and they bring the girls out and most bars will have 30 to 50 girls. And basically you just go up there and pick them and uh, they, they call a bar find system. So uh, you can take them uh, to your hotel for all night long for four or 5,000 peso. They have a pricing structure. Some girls get 5,000 peso which is like $95. And some girls get uh, for 4,000 peso, which is $80. And you get an amazing experience. You can take them home and uh, you, you can wine and dine them. The, I'm staying at the ABC Hotel. I don't know if you see in the background where there's a party going on. This place is designed for single men. It's within walking street of everything that goes on in Angela City. It's a well-designed hotel. People are very respectful. The girls come and they go. And uh, if you have the budget, I'd sure recommend ABC. It's like $125 a night. I've talked to some buddies around here. You can get some nice hotels for $50 a night, too. But uh, I like it. I like the ABC. But uh, you can, like last night, I went and picked up a lady, you know, probably 8 p.m. And we went and I took her out for supper and took, they have a nice bar here and this, that, and the other. They spent the night. In fact, she's still sleeping and it's 2, it's 2 p.m. So it's you know, go on 18 hours for $85, which is an amazing experience. As John knows, 
the Filipino women, I mean, it's, it's an amazing experience. They cuddle all night long. They show you so much respect. Um, it's, it's just really an amazing experience. I highly recommend Angela City. I see a lot of people my age, 65 to 75, out here, uh, white expats. Uh, you know, a lot of them are in relationships with, you know, 40 plus year old women. They probably struck out in the Western, you know, Western women and they're, they found, you know, peace and, 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 and a, you know, probably love out here, which it looks nice. These are, uh, these ladies here are old school. They really respect the man. You know, what do I see? I mean, of course, they, they always show on the best face, but it's really an amazing experience. And then there's a heavy, about half the people there are come from China or, uh, Korea, and uh, they they spend a lot of money, and they generally get to there early, and they generally pick the more attractive women in their in their opinion. But there's plenty of women go around, and, and don't be intimidated by the Koreans. I mean, they're just they're just men, and wherever if you have a little confidence and dress fairly decent and have some money, you're going to have all the uh, excitement that you possibly can. Right. So let's backtrack a little bit about the real girlfriend experience there, like. You won't get that really in Mexico, uh, in the clubs in Mexico. And for 85 to 80 to a hundred dollars, you'll get an all night, if not three hours to all night, depending on how the girl feels with you. And yes. like, she, like he said, you're going to get the girlfriend experience of a girl cuddling with you, appreciating you and like treating you like you're her husband, or it's like really your honeymoon, just like this girl. Right here, look at her cuddling with me, sleeping. They sleep all day. And I want to uh, break down why they sleep all day when they're with us. Because... Did you repeat these, that, uh, John, John, the party's right here. I need to repeat. I didn't hear your question. I said, I want to cover, cover that part about why the girls sleep all day when they're with us. And the reason they sleep all day when they're with us is because their living situations are not as nice as what we're living so like when the girls come over to my place and hang out and go to sleep they will sleep like they'll just say they'll take a nap but they'll sleep the entire night and wake up late and it's like i've never seen this before but at their house or wherever they're staying like the working girls there wherever they're staying there's probably a lot of people there's probably a lot of noise the bed or the floor that they're sleeping on is not comfortable and if it's cold, it's cold. Like if the weather's cold, it's cold. And there it's tropical. So it's hot, it's hot. And like, they don't get fed very well on top of that at the, at the bars over there. But when they get to experience something like this with us, then their body just shuts down and gets as much sleep as, it, as they possibly can. So don't get mad at them if you experience this. Like what the hell is wrong with them? There's nothing wrong with them. It's just the first time they're ever in a comfortable a place to get some actual rest and luxury like to me to us it may not be luxury but to them this is luxury compared to where they're living or where they're staying yes i'm glad you brought that up john i was talking to a guy that's a regular here he says uh he knows a lot of the girls will, will come in and uh they'll put 20 or 25 girls in a one room dorm with just basic like you say mattresses on the floor and then yep. the girls coming and going and so uh but that being said the girl has to be comfortable with you she, uh, this lady i was talking to last night says some of the expats treat her disrespectfully but uh, some treat her really good but uh like you say like john said if they're if they're comfortable with you their body shuts down and they and they try to you know i don't want to wake her up you know she has to go work at seven o'clock I'll, I'll wake her up in a couple hours but I, she wouldn't be sleeping if her body did not require it and if she didn't trust me. So I'll wake her up to get her something to eat. But, uh, you know, if they, if they spend that much time sleeping, they, that's the indicator that they do trust you. Right. And that's funny you say that, that they trust you, because she just said that why she likes coming here, because she said, I feel like comfortable and I trust you and it feels nice coming here. And then, look, she's been asleep the entire time since after we had our honeymoon. She's been asleep. I even ate. I ate with the plate on top of her head because she wouldn't move her head. And <laughs> I tried to wake her up and tell her that the food is here. And my arm was like on top of her. And I put the plate even like on top of her head, like kind of eating like around her face and stuff. You know, that's how deep sleep that they were in that they that they do. Yeah. 
and uh, uh, that's any case of your subscribers. That just shows you have to show these girls so much respect. They, you know, they, you know, they come in from the province, no money. They and the bars just treat them like cattle. And so, uh, you know, you know, I have a lot. I'm not saying sympathy, but I have a lot of respect for them. Those girls are working hard, and you know, I just want to show them as much support as they support me. And like uh, John said, the Phil and I love the Mexican Latina women. They have a lot of energy and beauty and in energy, which I, I like, but you won't get the cuddling all night long in, in Mexico, or I don't anyway, that you do here in the Philippines. Yeah. And like, it's not sympathy, it's empathy. You could feel yes. what they're going yes. through. You yes. know, at the same yeah. time, you can still feel bad for them, but you also feel what they're, what they're going through. You can put yourself in their position and empathize with them and like realize, and the guys that, if you guys are watching and you're one of those guys that, treats them like an object like you just because you paid for them you think you own them and you think you could do whatever you want treat them bad boss them around act like they're your slave they're not going to want to be around you they're going to want to get out of there as soon as possible as soon as they finish the job they want to get out and they're not going to want to stay with you or feel comfortable sleeping at your place or giving you a girlfriend experience they're going to give you the angry wife divorce experience <laughs> yeah no, I agree, John, wholeheartedly. I, I love to treat them well. They treat me well, and, and they are human beings. And, I mean, it's just, uh, I think they're amazing for what they do. And I just, you know, I love the heck out of them. Right. Look, I'm even, right now, I'm giving this girl hits of the joint while she's she woke up and she's looking at watching us talk. And I'm passing the joint in her mouth so she could take a hit without even moving her arm, without moving her hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it's, all right. it's for sure. Yeah, i i did uh, i did get i did get shut down by a bar girl last night. The first yeah. time, I don't know. I must. She, she was probably waiting for a young, good-looking Korean because, uh, and that's the first time that's ever happened. The mama song felt bad, but that's no problem. There's 300 other girls within within 20 yards of it, but it was kind of a. It was kind of funny, I thought, really, really, but it, it can happen, but that's no big deal. You can't let it wear your confidence. Just keep on moving next, I guess. It happens to all of us. I've been turned down, too. Certain girls are just, we're just not their type, and they don't want to go with us, you know? So don't blame them. You can't force them. They're not obligated no, no. to go with you. If they don't, don't want to go you. and they don't feel comfortable, even the establishment is not going to force them, unless the establishment is a fucking asshole and, and no. desperate for fucking money. Then they will force them. Hey, like if they're they're gonna treat them like a friggin' pimp, and like pimp slap them and make them go do their job, you know? Yes. And, oh, this girl is obviously beautiful, and and when she said no, Mama San gave her gave her the look, and then she said yes. But I told Mama San and says if she doesn't want to go. That's no problem, you know. You you about know what kind of experience it would have been, and I don't want to be with somebody that doesn't want to be with me, and. A thousand right. girls not gonna be, you know, they just have, they like like you said, they like different types. I'm glad you did not get weak and take her. I'm glad you maintained the Jedi Master uh, <laughs> confidence <laughs> to turn her away and find the right one. <laughs> and I did find the right one. We just hit it off, but but John, to tell you the truth, it's it's sure easy easier to live in a life of abundance when you have a thousand girls within hundred yards of you. I mean, right. that's the truth. Right. A thousand girls and probably only a hundred guys. That's probably yeah. the yeah. reality of it. Yes. Yes. It's uh, there's what, you know, I feel sorry for the girls because a lot of girls just don't do not get bar fine. The guy told me that, that, that the uh, bars pay him $5 a day just to show up. So I suppose that's probably typical, typical wages, but at least they get something, but you know, I, I just hope they can make enough. You know, if they, if they get one bar fine a day. I guess they're going to they're going to be okay. Yeah, most of them are not going to get one a day. They probably get like one or two a week, maybe three oh, a week. Man. That yeah, sounds about because there's too many of them. The supply yes. is overflowing and the demand yes. is not there. No, I agree. I agree, John. And the uh, and there's there's a certain percentage the girls are going to you know the, the top 10, 15, 20 percent are going to be pretty busy. But yeah. that's just you know that's the way nature is, and you know so. Yeah, we wish them all well, that's for sure. And so going back to the girl rejecting you, I want to talk about that a little bit more. And uh, that place is now popular for Koreans throwing their money there. And these girls were probably scared because like white people, white sex tourists have the, the, the uh, what do you call it? 
I can't think of the word, the reputation. reputation. Yeah, they have the reputation of being cheap and like uh, being abusive to them. Whereas the Asians have a reputation of just splurging their money and being submissive to them. And so they're going to hold off a little bit and try to get for, go for the easy prey versus the one that they got to negotiate with and like be scared of and like whatever. But the girl doesn't realize this guy's the most generous white guy on the planet and she turned him down. No, no, I understand that. I, I've seen some of that expat cheapness and uh, superiority complex. Yes. Don't be that guy, guys. You know, it's, you want to treat them well, and but, the, but, but there is a lot of expats up here that look down on these girls, and, you know, that'll get you nowhere fast. Yeah, it's because they are used to being an asshole and obnoxious in America, and it just amplifies when they're there because their money just makes them that much more... Uh, the, their level so much higher so it amplifies their bad attitude and that's probably why they were alone in america or divorced because even the wife couldn't take it no more from dealing with their bad attitude so they have to end up going to this place and, and then then you start feeding booze at two o'clock in the afternoon by seven o'clock they you just can't be around them so like i say don't be that guy life is better than that don't be that guy Right. It's not only there. You see it everywhere that Americans are going. That's why I don't really like hanging out with Americans. When I go to places, I hang out with the locals and I'm usually hanging out with girls, me and just girls. No, there's usually no guys around me unless it's a rare occasion, like a guy like Tim or like a really good friend or a relative. That's about the only occasions you'll see when I'm with a guy. But or like they're a really good, like good contact that takes care of me very well. They know the place very well. And, you know, it's just a reciprocation of uh, appreciation, you know, for what we do. Now, let, you got anything else you want to share about that story? No, no, I don't. Uh, John, if there's anything else you have any questions, I guess I, I'm, I'm an open book. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you have internet on your phone, uh, when you walk around that place or outside, can you take us for a walk and show us and give us a tour for the people that don't know? Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll go try. I'll try to go slow. I'm, I'm over here because the party is kind of loud. There's, as you can see, there's a mall back here. I'll kind of walk around and uh, kind of show you the lay of the land. Right. And if anyone asks what you're doing, you say you're on a work call. It's a video conference call for work. <laughs> oh, okay. This is for a, a work video call. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are doing work. We're doing this interview for your subscribers. I don't yeah. know if you can see it in the back. Yeah. There's a party going on. At, at nighttime, this place really, really, really gets off of the music's loud. Uh, the service is so good here. And the food's really good. I don't know why I missed before. The food, there's a lot of food selection right here, and it's always good. Yeah. This, Give us the tour. Narrate our tour. Be the tour guide. As you can see, the party's, the party's behind me. I don't know if you can see it. And this is yeah. the afternoon. This, it'll start picking up here a little later on. It'll be it'll be crazy. They have some uh, cabanas right here. And this, this place will all be full of people partying. Uh, I'll uh, I'll get out I'll get all that noise. They have a really a good gym here. The Wi-Fi is good. Everything you need's right here. Within walking street, I mean within walking distance of walking street. I uh I can't recommend the Philippines high high enough. It it is not easy to get to I mean it's it's easy to get here, it just takes time, you know. It uh, yeah it, I think it's show show we're worth the trouble. And like you probably should have scheduled two weeks out here if you're going to go through the hassle of getting here. Unless you're on the West Coast. West Coast, I flew out of LAX. It was a 17-hour flight, which is not too bad. Yeah. Definitely stay minimum of two weeks. Try to make it a minimum of a month. What's that, John? I was saying try to make it a minimum a month. No less than two weeks. Try to stay a month. Yes. Yes, I agree. And uh, uh, I. Uh, it's pretty easy to get... You know, attached to a lady. The first night I was there, she's calling, wanting to see me again. You know, and 
but they treat you so darn well, it's pretty easy to, uh, you mean, don't fall in love, but you sure get attached. Are you able to go downstairs and walk down the street? I didn't hear you, John. Did you say something? Are you able to go downstairs and walk down the street? I'm going to try to get down a little quieter area. I'm going to take you down and show you the gym. You're covering the camera. Oh, no. He's losing signal going down the stairs. Yeah, I hear you now. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I said you're covering the camera with your finger. Oh, okay. Is that better? Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. I, I can hear you a lot better now. Let's, uh, let's talk in here for a while. I know the view's not that good, but I can certainly hear you better now. Yeah, do you have internet on the street too from your from your phone, your cell phone provider? Uh, yeah, it's sporadic. It works okay. Uh, do you want me to? But yeah, it, it you can't. I'm using the hotel's Wi-Fi right now for this interview. It's yeah, I can do a little bit, but I, I don't think we could probably get a very good video out of that. What I've seen so far, but I'm using the Wi-Fi from the from the ABC hotel right now. Right. Okay. So. Uh... Maybe we can uh, give, can you give us a tour also from the downstairs pool on the ground level? Like it has like the garden to. area. Yeah, if you have patience, I'll be glad to. Yeah, and keep, keep walk, while you're walking, tell us what you're seeing and everything for the people that have never been there. Because a lot of people are going to be watching this. They have no idea what that place is like. Okay, it's an amazing yeah. place, guys. I, I, I like that place. Pay the money and stay there. It's worth it. Four, five, three. I'll be back or you may pay right now. I'll do that. I'll pay right now. You're not checking out. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm doing a, a interview. We're doing a promotional hotel. I will not get a closer time. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Good. I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. Take care. You gotta learn Please. to say salama. S salama. See this guy here? Hey. I, I, arm uh, I arm wrestle him every morning. I beat him. I beat him. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> As you can see, he's security, so I'm really respectful for him. Yeah. We're, we're going down here now. All jokes aside, uh, and I was telling the lady, they, uh, they treat, they, 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 they re everybody's referred to as sir, every older white guy. Yes. Which I really like that respect. I mean, I really do. And every girl is referred to as ma'am. And with their accent, they say, mum, sir, mum, sir. <laughs> Yes, yes. And what, what did you say? Uh, so guy is for thank you. What's that mean? So guy? Salama. Salama. Oh, that's okay. Salama. That's right. Salama. Yeah, yeah salama, that means thank, thank you. you. Yeah, salama is thank you. That's pretty easy to remember. And then uh, I need to remember that. Yeah. Just think salami. Está viendo, es mi amigo, es una suscriptora de mi canal y él está en Filipinas ahora y es un es una uh, famoso hotel uh, es parece de la zona zona norte aquí en Tijuana es como esto pero es una grande calle larga calle con muchos bares y, y es más barato y las chicas están más cariñoso de las chicas aquí y es es uh, pasar más tiempo también y es, parece una esposa o una novia hay una uh, el internet de él está corta we're gonna have to wait guys until he logs back on until he catches the internet there you go he's back can you hear me all right now, John? Now I can. You got cut for a minute. Well, when I went in the elevator, I lost the Wi-Fi. So here, here's the dining area. Food is awfully good. Here's a pool. People come in and hang out. Yeah. Everybody opens your door here. Thank you, sir. So long. I'm going to slow. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> and it's... uh. As you very well know, Christmas is big out here. They got the Christmas tree up here. Yeah. This is the main lobby. It's really, really good place. I See love tree? that place. 
when you guys go there, try to get a room by in, by the pool area. That's a nice because then you have a view of the party going on. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of rooms by the pool area, but uh, 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 there probably is. So, they, uh, the traffic here is it's not. not sure it's you can get around. I don't want to get too far from Wi-Fi. But here's the. Block is about three blocks behind us. So that's uh, this is where all the action's at. At night, up till 2 a.m. Yes, it is. Yes, no, it's good. It's, it's really good. So, well, I better go see if my girl's awake so I can buy her, I get her something to eat before she has to go to work. Is there anything you need to know? No, that's pretty much it. That was a nice tour. Maybe you can, uh, are you guys going to go eat down Walking Street or there at the hotel? Oh, okay. And I'm going to spend one more night. I'm gonna, then, then I'll also I'm gonna check out Manila. So we should uh, do a Manila report before I head back to the States. But we'll keep in touch. And I'm just going to spend one night in Manila as far as the nightlife is concerned. So I'll have a little better eye after that. Yeah, and I'll have my manager meet you and take you around and uh, be your uh, guide and help you down there in Manila. Yes, your friend's going to take me out for supper tomorrow night, so that's nice of her. Yes, I told her where to take you, and uh, if you want to go to the massage parlor over there, I know which one. I'll tell her to take you there, and if you want to go to, like, a night, a bar club, like, kind of like HK, I'll tell her to bring you there, too. She's bring doing that. Yeah, she's fine. I told her to take the day off and the night and be like whatever you need for her to be there and like help you. Well, that's awful nice. Thank you very much. So, well, I better let you go. I'm going to a crowded area. So I'll talk to you later on. All right, guys. Thanks for the update. We'll talk to you soon. Adios. Yeah. Buena vida. See you, John. Take care. Yeah. These adios, baby. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So I'm putting together these groups, the, my Jedi Master Inner Circle. So there's gonna be two levels to it. You're gonna have the Jedi Masters, which are the guys that are making 100K or more per year, at least, and have been well-traveled, have a lot of experience, and know of different places that we can go to experience and find beautiful girls and be able to share amongst everyone and give advice to other people as well. And then we're also gonna have the young Jedis that maybe aren't as experienced or just starting out in life or are young and don't really have much money, but they want to live this lifestyle. They're being inspired and they want to start and learn and be able to communicate with each other. So that'll be the second level. And of course the Jedi Master level can will be in both so that you'll have the Jedi Masters also helping the young Jedis by answering questions uh, for people that are new. And then the Jedi Masters what we're gonna do is have like trips maybe once a year where all of us Jedi Masters come together and have go to a destination where we'll be able to experience all of this together and share and network and share financial advice, how to make money. It'll be how to make money, how to deal with breakups, how to meet girls, pretty much everything that you're seeing on my, vid my videos that I'm teaching, we'll be able to network and do it in person and put, put together um, these groups and meetings for people and kind of be my me as the connector connecting all of you guys together because I'm getting all these messages from people from all walks of life in different parts of the world and a lot of you guys tell me that you don't have anyone to share these experiences with or share your stories and share all the knowledge that you've uh, accumulated throughout the years and once you communicate with me it's like you're spilling your entire story because you're so excited to tell someone finally because there's no one else you can take. can't tell your friends, can't tell your family, and there's no one you can ask questions, there's no one you can uh, share these intimate details with, and so I wanna bring you guys together with other like-minded people that are watching my videos and kind of wanna live this lifestyle as well. So if you're interested in joining the Jedi Master Inner Circle, I'm still putting together all the fine details, but I'll put you guys on a wait list, send me an email, and let me know which Jedi Master uh, or Jedi part level in the inner circle that you want to be in. There's going to be either the young Jedi or the Jedi Masters. And the Jedi Masters is going to be 
500 for you guys to join. That's the, the screening process. And then we got the Young Jedi's for 50 bucks. That way it's affordable. And the 500 is to screen out. Obviously, if you're doing well, 500 isn't much. And then it keeps out the people that aren't serious. It's kind of like the how to weed out the people that aren't really real. And of course, there's going to be moderation and there's going to be a uh, Con like con content moderation where I moderate who gets in and interview the people that want to come in to make sure they're real and that way everyone that's in the group is actually there because they want to be and that they share this similar outlook on life and want to live this type of life and level up even more make more connections make more friends kind of like me and Tim the 72 year old that you've been seeing interview and other people you haven't seen in my videos uh, that I hang out with it'll be kind of like being into the inner circle and make make these kind of bonds That will last a lifetime and these kind of memories that we can share together and have some awesome adventures together So if you're interested send me an email and then put wait list you'd want to be on and then as soon as I'm ready I'll notify all you guys that it's ready and then we'll put you guys in maybe a telegram or a discord or I'm still trying to figure out the logistics But once it's ready, then you guys will be invited once you uh, pay the entrance fee and then we'll get you in all right, guys, that's it. Adios, pura vida. You say adios, baby. Adios. Uh, <laughs> bye. Well, like, guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If, if you're headed down to Costa Rica, I got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of the stuff, you know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees, you don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money. You could be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank, a thousand, two thousand to the bank every month. You take it and go on a vacation. Look at the ocean, how beautiful it is down here. And the weather's perfect. It's so early in the morning. I'm already sweating. It's tropical. And like uh, people are swimming down there, if you could see. And I, the only thing I wish that was down here is the that there was more waves. But like I said, if you own a business, uh, you don't have to pay for the fees. You can use it for vacation, take your family out, reinvest in your business, or whatever it is you want to do on with it. It's just it's way better than wasting it, paying it to the bank and getting nothing in return. So that's it. Uh, send me an email or write in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Adios, pura vida.